I can mix it up. I know that Terrence can too, which is what makes this a great fight. But that, along with the confidence, along with the skills, the preparation, everything that I do, that's why I guarantee a victory. But every fighter should go into the ring guaranteeing victory. I just know I just know it to be so. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, what you just heard was the voice of two time welterweight world champion superstar boxer showtime sean porter 31 wins three losses one draw sean porter has 15 knockouts in his career sean porter is 33 years of age he will be 34 years of age by the time this fight comes to fruition sean porter is five foot seven with a 69 inch arm reach with that said he will be facing off against undefeated three division world champion Undisputed junior welterweight world champion, currently the WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one pound for pound best fighter in the world. In Terrence Bud Crawford, 37 wins, no losses, no draws, 28 big wins by way of knockout. Terrence Crawford stands at five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. Okay, Terrence Crawford has extremely long arms. They will be squaring off November 20th of this year. Uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, Mandalay Bay Arena. With that said, uh, Terrence Crawford, you know, uh, he's very confident. He never lost. But Sean Porter is very, very super overly confident, some may think. Okay, he says he dissected Terrence Crawford's resume. He dissected all Terrence Crawford's opponents. And none bring to the table what he brings to the table, which I agree with him 1,000%. But... What he stated after that is what got me, right? Because this is face-to-face -face with Terrence Crawford. Now, we know in an interview and on his podcast, Sean Porter, he stated that he guaranteed victory against Terrence Bud Crawford. But now this is face-to-face -face with Terrence Crawford. And not only did he predict victory, as he stated, every fighter is supposed to be confident that they can win the fight. He says, but I know that I'm going to win this fight. And then he goes on to antagonize Terrence Bud Crawford by start calling him, see you later, bud. See you later, bud. He started, <laughs> he started antagonizing Terrence Crawford, who just stayed with a straight face and a smirk on his face, as he always does. Listen to what Sean Porter had to say. See you later, bud. Thanks. So he kept saying, see you later, bud. See you later, bud. You know, he was pushing... Terrence Crawford's uh, buttons, okay? So you can hear it, right? See you later, bud. Thanks. And Terrence Crawford goes, he just sits there and he goes, thanks. But he did, see you later, bud. He did one of those numbers, right? See you later, bud. That's the numbers, one of those type of numbers is what he did to push Terrence Crawford's buttons, right? Uh, so this is going to be a very, very interesting fight. Uh, this is definitely the biggest fight uh, Terrence Crawford's career. Uh, Terrence Crawford, yes, he's fought uh, and became undisputed at junior welterweight. Yes, Terrence Crawford has um, beaten some notable names in the sport of boxing, but none to this magnitude. The biggest names on Terrence Crawford's resume was Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, Cuban superstar boxer, Yoriokis Gamboa, who moved up in weight to challenge Terrence Crawford. That was at 135. And then uh, his other big wins was Victor Postal in a unification bout, and obviously the fight with Julius Ndongo for undisputed his last fight at junior welterweight. Terrence Crawford has been on a six-fight knockout streak, okay? Uh, and then Terrence Crawford, he moved up to welterweight, challenged Jeff Horn. Uh, Jeff Horn had recently beat Manny Pacquiao, and he beat Jeff Horn, stopped Jeff Horn, okay? Now, he does have a, the biggest namesake on his resume is former IBF welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer, and special K, Kel Brook. But uh, as far as competitive-wise, Kel Brook was seen far past it. Kel Brook hadn't fought uh, at welterweight three and a half years. Kel Brook, you know, um, hadn't had a mega high-profile fight since losing and getting stopped by Errol Spence Jr. three and a half of the years earlier in Errol Spence's first opportunity for a world title. Uh, Kel Brook, you know, uh, prior to that, had suffered a broken orbital bone against uh, Gennady Triple G Golovkin, the unified middleweight world champion at the time. And he dared to be great, jump, jump from 147 to 160, uh, and he broke his orbital bone. Then Errol Spence broke his other orbital bone, and he hadn't had any high-profile fights at 147. He stated that 
his uh, weight issues at 147 is the reason why he cited losing to Errol Spence Jr. He then called out Errol Spence to come up to 154 and challenge him at 154. So we understand that um, Kell Brook, you know, um, he had been, you know, um, essentially, you know, uh, uh, struggling, you know, to make weight. He had been, you know, uh, struggling, you know, uh, with the eye injuries that he suffered in Errol Spence and uh, uh, the Errol Spence and um, the uh, uh, Gennady Golovkin fight. So we know, you know, um, again, you know, uh, he hadn't had been in high profile fights. OK, on top of that. So, you know, it, it was no um, uh, surprise to see. You know, Kell Brook gets stopped by Terrence Crawford. I think that even uh, Kell Brook in his absolute prime would have gotten stopped by Terrence Crawford either which way. Uh, but definitely this version of Kell Brook was going to get stopped by Terrence Crawford. Uh, and he did give Terrence Crawford a little bit of uh, trouble, a little bit of resistance. But ultimately, Terrence Crawford, he got the, the stoppage victory. But that's the biggest namesake on Terrence Crawford's resume. OK, so, yes. And Kell Brook did beat uh, Sean Porter back in 2014, 2013 for Sean Porter's IBF title to become a world champion. Uh, that's his only world championship uh, title. Uh, and so we understand, you know, um, we understand where, you know, uh, people will come from. I understand at, at least uh, where people will come from when they say, well, Kell Brook beat Sean Porter. Well, that was seven, eight years ago when he beat Sean Porter and Sean Porter is a much better fighter since that fight. And Terrence Crawford is admitting that, you know, this is definitely the biggest fight of his career. And that Sean Porter, you know, uh, you know, he's fought the who's who in the sport of boxing. Okay. Uh, it's, and excuse me, Sean Porter has 17 knockouts in, uh, uh, 35 fights. Okay. 17 knockouts in 35 fights. Okay. Uh, not many people, they would say that, you know, Sean Porter is, you know, not a big puncher because he doesn't display big punch and knockout power. He's very, very active, though. Last time he got a, a stoppage victory was uh, Andre Berto back in 2017. So he hasn't had a stoppage in four years. OK, but his three losses, the loss to Errol Spence, the loss to Kell Brook, the loss to uh, Keith Thurman, are high profile fights, but all razor close, thin fights. OK, that could have went either which way. Now, the Errol Spence fight, Errol Spence. Uh, undefeated, unified WBC, IBF, welterweight, world champion, superstar boxer, who is 27 wins, no losses, no draws, 21 big wins by way of knockout. Errol Spence is uh, 31 years of age, stands at five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. They fought back in uh, September of 2019, uh, and Errol Spence he separated himself in the ninth and, tw and then, excuse me, in the eleventh and twelfth round. Something similar to Olesander Usyk, what he just simp uh, did. Uh, simply did against Anthony Joshua. It was a nip and tuck fight, seesaw uh, type of fight going back and forth. And uh, in the 11th and 12th round, uh, Olesander Usyk, he separated himself from Anthony Joshua. And then in the 11th and 12th round, uh, uh, with Errol Spence and Sean Porter, Errol Spence separated himself with a knockdown in the 11th round and uh, uh, clearly winning the 12th round, controlled the 12th round and clearly won the 12th round, okay? Uh, so that was the difference in the fight. Uh, so Sean Porter... Against Errol Spence, he got a split decision victory. Errol Spence got a split decision victory. So it wasn't a unanimous decision victory. You know, uh, Keith Thurman got a unanimous decision. And Kell Brook got a majority decision. And Kell Brook did a lot of excessive holding in that fight with uh, Sean Porter. Okay, a lot of excessive holding, right? So Sean Porter is always very, very well, very much so well in the fight. Okay. And so with that said, you know, um, now... Uh, uh, this is the biggest fight with Terrence Crawford. We know can switch from orthodox to southpaw. Uh, he has power on both hands. Knockout streak, six straight fights with a knockout. Uh, Terrence Crawford is accurate. He could box on the inside. He could box on the outside. He could box in mid range. He could box in all t different levels. Okay. And so, with that said, you know, uh, the question is, can Terrence Crawford make the necessary adjustments when it comes to him and his fight with uh, uh, Sean Porter? Okay, because Sean Porter is going to press you. Every second of every minute of every round, okay? He's going to press you, he's going to press you, and he's going to press you some more. So with that said, it, it begs the question, is Terrence Crawford, who moved up from 130, 135, 140, and 47, okay? Uh, Sean Porter has always been a big fighter, okay? 
He at one point in time fought at 54. He even fought Olesander Usyk and beat Olesander Usyk in the amateurs, okay? That's how big Sean Porter was. So, uh, with that said, Sean Porter is very athletic, probably the best athlete or definitely top three best athletes in the sport of boxing. Uh, he's very strong. He's very, very resilient, and he's always in shape. So, Sean Porter is going to press Terrence Crawford every second of every minute of every round. And the entry comes to see if Terrence Crawford can deal with Sean Porter's pressure. Uh, we saw guys like Igis Kavalaskis, who was his WBO mandatory challenger. He gave Terrence Crawford some problems and, and uh, unofficially dropped Terrence Crawford in the fight. Okay, And so with that said, everybody's going to be uh, tuned in and wonder why and wonder and want to see, you know, uh, why Terrence Crawford hasn't fought these best, the best opposition out there and how he deals with this uh, level of opposition. To, and again, he can make a statement because Sean Porter's never been knocked out, never been stopped, never been dominated in none of his losses, okay? And Terrence Crawford has the opportunity to make a statement. But also, on the flip side of that, this is a last opportunity possibly for Sean Porter, who will be 34 years of age himself, okay? Terrence Crawford is already 34 years of age. Uh, Sean Porter turns 34 next month. So, and again, his biggest fights... He did. He wasn't able to just get over the hump. Okay, he, he was right there at the door, just wasn't able to open it. So this at 34 years of age, and he already expressed that he don't have much much interest in um you know uh, challenging the younger upcoming guys like Virgil Ortiz Jr. Jerron Boots in his Rashidi Speedy Ellis doesn't have much interest. He wants to fight these guys that are already established. Uh, that are, what he wants to um you know, uh, let the world know he's still on that level. He doesn't want to do that. Okay. He's not trying to build himself back up. So this is a, uh, possibly a last, uh, gas opportunity for Sean Porter as well. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, blue, blue blood sports TV, hate, like comment and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D B C. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Yo, oh, it is your boy Jaden Kiss. Make sure you check out Blue Blood Sports TV. It's going down.